You're listening to 94.4 FM, Salford City Radio, the, the Friday Sports Show. You're listening to Salford City Radio, 94.4 FM, the Friday Sports Show, for your host, Jimmy Petruzzi. Bring news from the local area and around the world. We aim to bring Salford to the world and the world to Salford. And we are very fortunate in the show. We've interviewed some of the world's best athletes, sports people, coaches, sports psychologists, you name it, they've been on the show. We also have a segment speaking to some of the most influential people in the field of psychology and related fields, and that's been really fascinating as well. Today, we have a very fascinating guest who, no doubt you've probably heard him on the uh, airwaves commentating uh, for Bake Up. Uh, I certainly tune in when I can't get to games and, and you know, never a dull moment with, uh, with the commentary, that's for sure. And but there's more to um, our guest tonight than, than obviously the commentary. Uh, he has another role at Bake Up, which is head of um, business development, and and is doing some great work. And and really, um, we talked about how important in non-league football or any any uh, football or any league, you know, the work off the field is 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 equally, if not more, important than than on the field. There's a lot to be done, and yeah, certainly his contributions. Um, you know, if you you can check out on the Facebook page, Bake Up, and and uh, Instagram, and, and you'll see some of the great work he is doing. Um, Andrew Nikes, welcome to the show. Great to have him board. Yeah, good evening, Jimmy. Thanks a lot for having us on the show tonight. Thrilled to be on. Yeah, it's great to speak, uh, Andrew. And we sort of talked about how you you do the commentary, but there's another side, to another role that you do. The Head of uh, head of the business development, and can you give our listeners a bit of an insight into what it's like to be in business development in in the non league? Yeah, mate, I could, I could give you one more straight off tough, real tough, real yeah. tough. Yeah, so uh, obviously you know the, the comments, the commentaries were good. That's how originally went back to the club. I did a little bit with Steve Brown on the commentaries, and we all know that that went off really well. Um, on the back of that, I think Brent was uh, sort of having a watch, watching what it was like, and he offered me the role yeah. of the head of business development. And I thought, poof, poof, that's going to be tough, is that, Jimmy? I thought that's a tough job. And I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. You know, we're six months in and we're absolutely flying, and we're delighted with it. But we've got lots and lots and lots more to do. Yeah, and no, it's amazing how you've sort of taken it on, and 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 you know, you mentioned there the sort of commentary yourself and, and Steve and there's you know certainly uh, uh, you know chemistry in terms of the, you know you guys as a commentary duo and and you know when you sort of hear the commentary I think it's it's uh, you bring something unique um, to, to to commentary and in terms of the commentary before we sort of talk about the the, the business side of things um how have you found that uh, Andrew what's it been like sort of you know yourself and Steve you seem to have this sort of chemistry and and, and I think you kind of you know, you bring the game to life, really. But what's the what's the sort of secret behind it all? Well, there's no secret, really. I mean, I was just I was just wanting to go to the uh, the Bury AFC game last season. I, just, I bought a ticket for the game. Steve yeah. just dropped me. I, I'd already met Steve previously. And yeah, I yeah. thought, wow, what a good job he does there. He looks yeah. by himself, and I thought he's a really impressive man, and I, I enjoyed talking to him. So you know, we're kind of friends before that. And he just offered it. He said, if I want to do it, they're very big in. But I'm having some of that. And the rest is history on it, you know. You know, doing the commentaries every game, home and away, non-league level, you know, it's quite phenomenal, really. And, you know, long may it continue. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think the great thing about it is, uh, for people who can't, you know, I mean, I think what's great, obviously, the, the home games, I think the away games as well, for people who can't get along for whatever reason, but, you know, what I've noticed is there's people who tune in from around the world as well in terms of, you know, there's there's, there's people from Bake Up all, all around the world, no doubt. And do you get a buzz from that, uh, Andrew, like knowing that there's sort of people all over sort of tuning in and, and uh, you know, listening in to, to the commentary? I just thought it for the very game and then what we did then we played away at Campion then after that and we said we could give it one more go so we did the game at Campion on a lovely Tuesday night last summer and we won when we got home and we looked at the figures we had 250 listeners wow and all of a sudden the game changes the game you look at that you think, wow we've got an audience here and that's everything that we've just kept on all ever since but yeah I mean the buzz are bringing the game to people who live in Spain Germany, you know, people Absolutely. are listening in Australia, 
it's amazing. We absolutely love it. Absolutely, and and I really like listening in, tuning in one time. I think it was a Chatterton game. Yeah. It was a cup game, and and it just the, the the passion that you guys had, and but also you know I I know that you guys obviously are right behind Baker. It's not always easy to be uh, impartial, but you do tell like it is. I mean that's that's one thing. And and I left a comment. I said that I felt that you know that's amongst one of the best comments you drew. You, you'll find because I think that. You know, obviously, you guys are passionate about the club and uh, all things Bake Up, and but I think you tell it like it is, and I think there's a refreshing honesty about that where you sort of tune in, and 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 you know, it's it's, it's obviously um, one of them really. But yeah, like you said, long may it continue. We sort of turn our attention to the business side of things, and I know that Bake Up's got a couple of events coming up, and you're probably better explaining, you know, what they're all about than than, than me. Um, what are the up and coming events uh, for Bake Up, uh, Andrew? Yeah, well, 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 first and foremost, well, when I took the job as the head of business development, you know, I haven't been looking into three or four weeks. I didn't really do a lot. I was just observing and analysing what was going on. And a big part for me was to get it into the community a bit more, push the brand of Baker Borough Football Club right into the heart of the community. Yeah. So what we did were we get involved. We have, we have a street carnival once a year. Um, that's the first time in three years it's going to be on. So straight away we entered into that. So we'll be pushing... To the Bake Up Borough will be in a procession through the streets with its team coach with Brent driving it. Uh, we'll have the kids down there beating the goalie on the park, giving stickers out. You know, something like a real fun yeah, event yeah. where we can push the brand of Bake Up Borough Football Club right into the community. Brilliant, brilliant. That's fantastic. And it's, I mean, it, it, it is a community club, and you know, that's for sure. And, and you know, that's, that's the, the vibe that. A lot of people get, and it's interesting that you say. I mean, you know, at the ground uh, this year or last season, I should say, there were people just, you know, coming along from all around the country just to sort of get a feel for it. You know, I, I thought that was really, really, uh, you know, interesting the sort of vibe they get. And in in terms of the, um, is it the? I just make sure I got the right dates. The, 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 there's one, the one on the ninth is is sort of what do people do to sort of turn up to that one? There, do they have to book or? What's the um, the story behind that, uh, Andrew? Yeah, I'll, I'll, so following up, yeah, so that's under the 26th of June is the carnival. But, but two weeks later, we're going to have a family fun day on Baker Bear Football Club. We've got a whole host of activities going on. We've yeah. got the world's famous Britannia Coconut Dancers. We've got dance troops. We've yeah. got care boot sales. We've got face beach. Aesthetically, what a, what a family fun day is. We'll be providing for all the town and people from out the town to come up to Baker and see what we're all about. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and, and yeah, I mean, that's the sort of, you know, interesting you say. And, and so with, with that, do they need to sort of book or is it t- um, tickets on the gate or how, the, how the, like, we've got listeners from all over, really, if they're interested in coming along, what's... Um, what? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jimmy. If anybody wants to come along to the event, it's free to get in. We're not charging to get in. It's a family day. We're putting on a day of entertainment for everyone to come up and enjoy and see what we're all about. We'll get a warm welcome off Deborah. You know, the fantastic Deborah O'Connor up there is up there as long yeah. as Brent has. You know, you know, we've got fantastic people. We're a very welcoming club and yeah. we want to grow the brand. You know, we want to push it out and we want to keep growing every single day. And things like the Family Fun Day, that'll only help it, hopefully, Jimmy. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's perfect as well. I mean, before the season and... And, and obviously, you know, it gives, uh, you know, people in the area a chance to sort of get a feel for the club. Um, one thing that certainly last season we, we saw fans coming back to the club that hadn't been for a while. And I think that's down to the work that, you know, yourself and, and, and many other people are sort of putting in and working hard. Obviously, you know, on the field, the, the brand of football that Dave and... And, and Brent have worked hard to create with the players. You know, it's, 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 everyone sort of worked really hard to sort of to, to achieve that. And I think now sort of all things are set for the season. But I think it's also good to sort of involve people, come down and, and just enjoy it as well. And, you know, what, what can people expect on the day in terms of, um, in terms of the... The, the the fun day. I mean, is like you mentioned there some of the, the you know the, the, the shootout, the, some of the the acts that are going to sort of go ahead. Oh and, yeah. But the general vibe, uh, Andrew, on the day. Yeah, yeah. The general vibe will be the gates will be open at one pm, so that gives everybody plenty of time to get up and arrive up at the Brain Boys Westview Stadium. We're going to have we're going to have live dancing acts. We're going to have a brass band playing. We're going to have face paints for the children. We've got crafts area for 
the children, football on the pitch. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We're going to have a car boot sale on there, so if you're a car booter, you know, and we're going to donate the funds of that to, to a charity that's close, just become close to our hearts at the club. So we've got charity work, and it's free to get on. It's just going to be, it's going to be the best day in town by miles. Yeah, that's that's fantastic, and you know, no doubt, uh, you know, many of our listeners will be, you know, heading down and, and looking forward to that, and hopefully more people can get sort of be behind that and sort of you know get down and and and, and sort of enjoy the day, but also to sort of you know keep on and come along and, and get behind the team as well, and you know, we we've talked before about how important it is off the field, and and you know, as much as it is on the field, obviously, sort of you know, Brent has done a phenomenal job for a number of years. It's not easy yeah, to spoken at length about what his role and, and, and sort of the challenges. And, and, and obviously, you know, um, it's, it's not easy. You know, the, the, the club not far from here, Salford, uh, was obviously the same level a number of years ago, but the, 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 the lads, um, the ex-United lads got involved and sort of the club's moved Obviously, for investment, um, you know, investment is a, is a big thing. In terms of business development, what sort of, um, what, what are some of the goals you've got, Andrew? So, the, obviously, I think it's really important to have a club in the town. I think it's a communal thing. It creates a buzz. It's a family club, that's for sure. Um, you know, and it's built on a strong foundation that sort of Brent's worked hard to achieve over a number of years. But what's sort of the role for you in the, in the business side of things? I mean, I've, I've noticed sort of you, you sort of, um, you know, you, you've got a few few businesses on board. Um, what what what? Yeah. You, a bit of an insight in terms of what you do in the business side of things. Well, well, with the business development job, I mean, that's a whole new role completely, what I've had to undertake. So as I just alluded to earlier, I took four to five weeks just to observe yeah, where yeah. we might be at in that field. And then once I got cracking on that, then you're starting to look at some short, mid and long term goals. I think anybody who goes into a new company, they have their new eyes, don't they? Their new eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So primarily, you know, we're looking at the brand of what. I like everyone to look smart. I'm looking at kits. I'm looking at how we can push the brand better yeah, both, yeah. You know, in the community and around the club because that then will make the commercial arm stronger when I'm out there looking for businesses to get involved. You yeah. know, so it, it is it is a it's a fair role, Jimmy. To be fair, you know, and we've got we've got to try and get more business involved, which what which is what we're doing. You know, and we've got to carry on that. We've got to keep it going with that because you know the overheads of the football club, you know, they're staggering at this level. Absolutely, absolutely. And in terms of if there's any businesses like listening in and you know looking to possibly get involved, and 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 obviously you know we saw how important football is, and we know how important football is as part of the community. It brings everyone together, and and I've said before, there's there's, there's no place that you know I, I'd rather be on a Saturday. Then, then in a town, you know, with a football match on in, in the UK, it's just a phenomenal sort of atmosphere, and, and you know, yeah. I think it's tremendous the buzz and everything else that goes with it. But, but in terms of business getting involved, I mean, what are some of the sort of what 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 sort of if there's any business that's interested in getting involved, how can they sort of get in touch yeah. with yourself and, and sort of get a bit more information? Well, they can, they can get in touch directly through the club through our email, which is yeah. commercial one dot SC at gmail dot com or just through any of the social media pages you'll be put on to me instantly but what we try to do Jimmy is we try to make sure that that we're open to any business so yeah. primarily you will, it's not all about big businesses coming in so the small businesses out there you know we run things for them we'll do packages and advertising packages to suit anybody's needs and anybody's mm. budgets and that's crucial for us so far yeah, yeah, and I think for a business like to know they're supporting a club, a local club, part of a community, it's a fantastic brand. I mean, and and what you mentioned earlier about the commentary, you know, the as well that yeah. the commentary goes all over uh, the world as well. So in terms of people listening in, there are people obviously from 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 the town originally around the world, that's for sure. And but equally, obviously, sort of you guys go the extra mile to promote them at the at the club as well too so it's a great opportunity um for for a business to get involved um but also to to know they're supporting a, a local club as well i mean is, is that one of the things that sort of spurred you on in terms of knowing that a business can get involved and, and also support the local club because it's obviously the overheads are, are high it's not easy to run a club at that level obviously for you know through funding and everything else is, is that sort of 
one of the, the, the aims for yourself to sort of from from that perspective too? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I took the job on, it's obviously like I said, you know, there's a short, mid, and long term goal. You know, there's visions between myself and Brent. You know, we're talking. You know, you know, we've got you know renovations of the clubhouse, things like that, where we from push the brand on again. We've got land at the side of the club there, you know. Could we have a training pitch of our own yeah, up yeah. there? So they're long term goals and I want to be there when they come to fruition. You know, yeah. we've got plenty of people who can push it. It's gonna take time. Well, it's gonna take a bit of time, Jimmy, just to get everything in place. But in the short term goals is just to create that revenue, a bit more revenue. The mid term is to look at the structure of the club which is going on. You know, some fantastic work by Chris Honor what he's doing in there, Absolutely, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. an academy being developed. So that's in the midterm. Can we have all them teams coming through right through a system for Baker Cup Borough? And then thirdly, you know, can we have them big things at the end? Can we have the new clubhouse? Can we have a training pitch? And keep driving Baker Cup Borough football club on. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. I mean, you mentioned there, Andrew, like the the sort of like businesses getting involved. And I mean, one thing that sort of strikes to mind, you know, is the opportunity for say if there's any sort of ex-players listening in thinking you know what they 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 look at you know what Bakeup's doing and you know they take note the work that obviously Brent's putting over the years and and the work that you know people like yourself and like you mentioned Chris uh, on a you know Steve obviously about the commentary and 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 you know there's uh, Deborah well, too too many to mention really but you know do, do, what's the sort of is there opportunity for like maybe an ex play, ex player sort of listening in, thinking, you know what, we want to support the club, um, maybe give them a bit of a boost? Is, is, can can they get in touch as well? Is there sort of a place for like it maybe an ex players to get involved as well in sort of from 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 the finance side? Absolutely, you know, and it's not just from the financial side, you know, on the you know onto the community things. Yeah, and they want to come up and get involved and just come and say hi to Brent and Deborah. You know, it's not all about, we're not all about revenue. Yeah. We want that family. We want that face to be family. You know, so if you used to play for Bay Cup, and you're thinking, oh, I quite like what's going on there. Come on up and say hey to Brent. You know, Deborah will have some food on, so you come and support Absolutely. your life. Absolutely. And if you've got a big business, if you've got a big business, we will let actually get involved. Then listen, we're available 365 days a year, ready to go on that. So, you know, it is what it is for them. Come on up and say hi. Absolutely, no, absolutely, and another thing, really. I mean, in terms of say, I mean, in terms of say, sort of geographically. So, it would be say Burnley. You got Burnley Football Club. You've got obviously Rochdale Football Club, um, in, sort of in the area. I mean, how? Just sort of. I mean, th- there is potential there for Baker to sort of. The, the sky's the limit, really. I mean, the infrastructure's there. Brent's put a solid foundation there. You know, the coaching staff now are in place. Yourself, obviously, you know, a lot of good work going off the field. It seems to me the buzz, it's kind of like the stars have aligned for the club. It's just, you know, one, 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 I wouldn't say one big push really, but sort of it's certainly moving that in the right direction. Do you feel the platform set to sort of really maybe, maybe sort of see how far this, the, the, the club can go really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, both on and off the pitch, you know, yeah. the team underneath the team, you know, we've got a fantastic team, first of all, from the football side at first team level, we've got that great core of young, young lads that are local, and we've got the lads out to town who make, they just make their special bunch, aren't they? Absolutely. You know, they've got some developing to do now. Now, if they can go on an upward curve, if they could get themselves up into the Premier League as a starter, you know, we go with them, don't we? Absolutely. So we're all one, so both on and off the pitch, the club, you know, we're looking to push on. We're, we're all looking forwards. Nobody looking backwards or sideways at the minute, Jimmy. We've Absolutely. all got that goal and we're all trying to move forward. Absolutely. And you mentioned there sort of the players. Are, are there opportunities for people to get involved in player sponsorship as well, uh, Andrew? Is that, I'm not sure if that sort of falls into, into your yeah. room. Do you know more about anyone listening in maybe getting involved in, say, maybe individual player sponsorship? Yeah, all, all the individual player sponsorships will be going out soon if anyone wants to get involved with that. Or they can just come and watch these individual players. You know, if they just want to come up, you know, and have, you know, I enjoy the, the great hospitality at Bay Cup Borough. You know, we're not just looking for people to come into the club from a financial point yeah, of view. You know, yeah. We can build the fan base, we can build the community base, we can build the commercial base. You know, it, it'll make for a better club and a better town. 
And that's fantastic. And, you know, I, I, I find that really exciting what's going on at Bake Up. I think that, you know, so many great people involved and, you know, obviously the, 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 the local club in this area, Salford, and, and, and you know, um, I, I just feel that in, in some respects, you know, I mean, credit to obviously the, the lads getting involved in Salford and they've sort of risen. But in, in a way, and I suppose there's sort of mixed feelings around Salford obviously you can't take nothing away from the club and, and obviously the you know the, the investment that the uh, the lads put in and, and where they are now but I just feel that get that sense yeah. sometimes that having gone professionally um, and I suppose it's only my opinion that it's it, these are sort of my centers it's almost almost like lost a bit of that sort of that um, that, that, that the, the the vibe that communal vibe you know um, that that the likes of a bake up has to be fair that buzz you get where you go there you kind of meet people you, you know you're on the ground floor type thing and yeah. and and that's the thing i think how how important do you think that is and and, and i know obviously i you know people might see it otherwise but how important it is if, if a club does go into the into league football to keep the identity to sort of keep that strong identity that sort of the communal club feel to it yeah i mean obviously it will do and to be fair you know, i think i think like a bit further down the pyramid, I think Macclesfield are, are, are quite a good template yeah. to look at, aren't they? You know, they've had the investments, haven't they, in there? They've gone up from the Premier League this year, but, you know, their community stuff's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely yeah, Absolutely yeah. phenomenal. And, you know, and, and the Golden Goose as well, Jimmy. The Golden Goose, what they've got is what we need is that 4G facility. Yeah, it's yeah. It's that where that is available 365 days a year, that. And that's what, you know, eventually, that's what, you know, personally, I crave to have a Baker Bear football club. Yeah, yeah. That, that facility where we can be open as a business and a community hub through the 65 days of the year. Absolutely. And are there sort of opportunities? I mean, you mentioned there, obviously, you know, it's not just about the finances and... It's about people getting involved and coming out to the club and we want to get more people in the club and everything else that goes with it. But are there opportunities to sort of get involved with maybe, you know, in terms of training facilities, in terms of even like, you know, anything ranging from, say, sports strings for the players uh, right through? Because obviously at that level, it's it's tough, you know. It's, it's not easy to run yeah. the club financially. And, you know, I, honestly, I, I, I look at the work friends have done and I think, wow, you know, it really, really is amazing. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's incredible, incredible, isn't it? It's, you know, one, per, one person, you know, it's a, obviously has good good people around him, and you know, like you mentioned there, Deborah. Um, but it is tough, and it isn't easy at that level. Obviously, you know, like you've mentioned before, in terms of you know, the four you make make a big difference as well. But is there opportunities for people like listening in, thinking, you know, what maybe we can sort of help out the club with anything ranging from say, like you know, sports drinks for players at half times to maybe training facilities or gym facilities or just other areas as well that can get involved in? Yeah, there is, yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, Vacup is open to anybody who wants to come and help out. You know, from the volunteer doing the weeding around the ground to somebody who might want to lend us some gym facilities, you know, for pre-season for the lads. You know, anybody, anybody's welcome at Vacup Borough Football Club. We are a family unit. You know, we welcome anybody who can help us on our upward curve. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, that's exactly, and that's the sort of vibe. And and I mean, obviously, you, you know, you're, you're you're into your sports, Andrew. You know your sports and, and that sort of stuff. And I suppose, you know, just for our listeners listening in, and there's probably no better person to sort of, you know, to to to, to ask the question yourself. You, you know, you, you know, understand the community really. You understand the community really, really well. How important do you think it is to have a sporting a club uh, like Bake Up for the community? In terms of, you know, you had experience yourself of coaching. You've Obviously, you know, no, no sports ball. How important is it to have a club in the community like Bake Up for, 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 for people in general? Well, it'd be absolutely massive. We got a little taste when we played Bury AFC this season, didn't yeah. we? You know, we had close to a thousand people on. Now, we weren't just a thousand people on Bake Up Bury on that day. There were people down in, in Rottenstall in the cafe bars. There were people coming into Bake Up, a huge match day. So that gives the whole town of Bake Up a little flavour that should Bake Up Borough be successful on the pitch, it's not, not just us that, that prosper, it's the whole town, the Absolutely. cafes, the pubs, you know, we can get it going, you know, and we're all desperate to do it, Jimmy, but it's going to take a bit of time, Absolutely. you know, we've got to, as Chris Honor says, yeah, like, like I speak to Chris Honor quite a bit, you know, and he's doing great work at our club, you know, but he's got a nice calm head on his shoulders, and he's done about, the, you know, 
people in nice and steadily. Sometimes it's going to rain me in. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting times. Absolutely, and and I suppose in saying that, you know, there's one thing to the other side of things too. And you know, I've spoken to Chris about this before. It's almost like you know having, you know, leaving a little bit of a legacy in in some respects in terms of you know, wouldn't it be sort of great to sort of, um, so, to, 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 for Bake Up to, to to take? I think obviously you know Brent's left a legacy for the club and put the club definitely on the map. Again, it's a great club. It's a great tradition. Some of the players he's had at the club. You know, it's incredible, really. You know, Premiership players, it's sort of, it's phenomenal. But in terms of, what, wouldn't it be a buzz? Do you think to sort of, for the club to sort of uh, claim its place as high as it possibly can in the pyramid, and just to create that sort of uh, legacy, really, for for the town? Oh yeah, it'd be fun. You know, small steps. It's going to be that. You know, where we are. You know, in the uh, Division One Northwest Counties, Division One. You know, first and foremost try and get out of that, can we try and up into that Premier League, then we're looking at bigger crowds, more people coming into the town and the money in the town make up, so we don't just prosper, the whole town will Absolutely. eventually, it's going to be small steps, it's going to be small steps, you know, we've got the infrastructure underneath to get right, we've got the team to get right, so, but, you know, all knows in the same direction, so, take a phrase off Sean Dyson, former Burnley manager, yeah, 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 yeah. with all into the same direction, they're usually stronger. No, absolutely, and, and and having mentioned that, what what I mentioned earlier before, like you know, there were times uh, during last season where there'd be people who sort of come along and and you know from from other towns and to, to to have a look and see what it's all about, and 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 that was you know like you says, I mean that was a knock on effect not just for the club but for the town itself really in terms of you know coming along and and like you says, it's it's, it's a knock on effect for the community. Uh, in, in general, so I think that's an important message for me, for sort of anyone listening. And we get like a variety of listeners, the people that we listen. Um, you know, you got people who are passionate about sport, but even people who just are passionate about the community. Um, and one of the goals of the show is to increase awareness and participation in sport. We want to get people involved in sport. You know, get out there and, and sort of participate um, in, in 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 the game and just sort of. Uh, you know, one of the questions I asked our, our sort of, you know, list. One of the final questions I asked our, our guest uh, is the vision, and and know that you've got your goals, and you mentioned there, and some will be sort of close to your chest. But what sort of your vision, Andrew? Where do you sort of see this? Uh, what what sort of your ideal vision uh, for for your role at the club, sort of going forward? Whatever you're sort of comfortable sharing. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm very transparent to anybody who asks about the club because yeah. I, I think it's good to explain. So. So basically, in a nutshell, what I'd like for us, I'd just like us to keep growing as we are. I'd like us to get, I'd like Chris on to carry on the work that he's doing in the, in the academy. I'd love that to be built through. So then yeah. young children are coming into our system, coming right through and going into playing stadium football. That would be amazing. I'd like that to a successful first team in the 23s. Yeah. A new clubhouse, a training ground on the side. That's a bit more long term. You know, and just to keep that field factor going, you know, support Brent, support Brent all the way because he, he's coming up to 25 years now, you know, and he deserves, he deserves Absolutely. some help on his projects here, you know, Absolutely. so Absolutely. that's kind of a flavour of where it's going. Absolutely, you know, I, for sure, and I think that, you know, it's, it's incredible, like you've said there, I mean, sort of the work that Brent's put in there, and I think wouldn't it be a buzz to have all that in place, and, and, and obviously, yeah, you know, will. I think that, and, and, and the one thing about Brenny, stuck with the club through thick and thin, it's not always been easy, it's not easy, obviously, you know, we've had challenges, well, the clubs had, like every, well, many clubs have had challenges, but in terms of, you know, you had the pandemic, and it's not easy managing a non-league club, and, and on the field and off the field, obviously, games get cancelled, other things that yeah. sort of, you know, but I think, like you said there, it'd be phenomenal to see, you know, Brent has a wealth of football knowledge, and is a humble person, selfless person who sort of you know puts other people first and i've seen firsthand for many years brent put players uh you know welfare first and you know looked after players um you know in, incredible really and and that's the thing really i think there's a lot of people looks after all this stuff. precisely and there's a lot of unsung heroes i think 100 percent, and players as well and i think that's sort of one thing that i i the, the vibe I get at the club at the moment that, you know, everyone's pulling together and looking out for each other. And like he says, it'd be a buzz for everyone involved. But also the town itself to sort of see the club, you know, 
take its place um, amongst the, the the elite clubs of the country. Well, why not? You know, like we we, we know here from Salford that anything's possible, and and um, certainly. For me, Bakup's got as good an infrastructure as any other non-league club. If the right people come on board to invest or get involved to, to keep moving it forward, that's for sure. But it's been great speaking to you, Andrew, as always, mate. Always enthusiastic you are and, and, and always sort of you know, keen to... Absolutely, absolutely. So it's been great speaking and, and we wish you all the best at the role. Um, in terms of just our listeners, just reminding them again if they want to get in touch and maybe know more about getting involved in the club. I know you gave the email out earlier, but for, for the ones who may have forgotten or haven't written it down, how can they get involved? What are the sort of uh, what, what what are the channels they can sort of hook up and get in touch if they choose to get in, uh, get involved in some capacity? Well, they can get in contact with the club through all the social media platforms. Yeah. Steve Brain, our head of, head of media, he runs a fantastic social media. So you can drop a message on any of them and it will get back to me. We do have a, we do have a commercial email, which is commercial fc at gmail.com if you want to email on that. But like I say, you can get in contact with anybody anywhere on Bear and we'll all be too delighted to talk to you. Brilliant, fantastic, Andrew, great stuff. And that was Andrew Knights, who's Head of Business Development at Baker Borough Football Club and also a co-commentator. Um, and do do drop uh, the club an email. You know, if you've been listening in um, this evening, you think, you know what, I want to even just pop down to one of the events coming up um, and, and sort of get involved and, and, and sort of uh, get out there and, and for a day out um, with your family or with your friends or whatever, um, do do pop down. But also beyond that, with the, the season starting uh, in, in, in a month or so, um, at the point of this show going out there, it's obviously pre-record, um, do pop down, get behind the club wherever you are, and um, and obviously do, do get in touch uh, with the club if you'd like to know more about how to get involved in, in some of the capacities that we spoke about this evening. Um, and, and, and we'll go from there. The Friday Sports Show with your host, Jimmy Petruzzi, on Salford City Radio 94.4 FM, bringing Salford to the world, the world to Salford, raising awareness of sport and our goal of increasing participation.